Hey y'all, Cobra Meister here, and I am, of course, back with another video, and as you can tell by the title, this video is based on the topic that I'm pretty sure a lot of us younger folks have thought about. Not me specifically, because I don't, if y'all know me personally, y'all know that I don't care for <laughs> futuristic stuff in any way. But, um, as y'all can tell by the title, hover cars and why they won't work. Now, that doesn't mean, just to make sure I'm not spoiling anyone's hopes for the future and all that stuff. Because, let's face it, there's no guarantee, and there's also no guarantee that it won't work. But, here's something to explain why it's not possible that they'll work. Now, that doesn't mean that uh, some car manufacturer in the future won't end up looking at this video when I'm old and uh, can't even drive. So, to you younger audiences who have high hopes for this stuff in the future, don't tear me down. Because I'm pretty sure quite a few of y'all may see this and say, Oh, he just destroyed all our hopes. Well, don't get your hopes too far down because, of course, we all know there is a good strong chance that something may end up working. But let's go ahead and get into the reason for this video. One, um, how are they going to fly? Because, you know, a hover car, it's, it won't have wheels. So, how will it fly through the air? Well, that would have to involve some sort of jet material or some kind of magnetism. Well, I can only guess some kind of magnetism because... Um, well, it's going to have to have some kind of negative, you know, like south to south, you know, a magnet. On one end, they will contract. That's probably not contract. They will draw to each other. But on the other end, there will be some sort of friction. And they just won't want to go together. So that's that's how magnetism. But getting them to move. That's going to have to have some sort of jet or something. Something pushing it forward and something pushing it backwards. Now you may think that. Well, yeah, it's going to move, but stopping. Okay, let's say, because obviously there's no tires, there's less chance of a brake system. So, what else could they use? Aside from just using the jets in reverse for each direction but that would take extra power and on a highway it's usually like 65 to 75 miles per hour you're not going to tell me that that is going to slow down in time to stop Because say you have to brake fast because you're getting too close to someone who is stopped. Um, yeah, that's going to be a very bad day for you. Especially if you're already late for work, you just bought your brand new hover car, and kaboom! You just ended up in a massive traffic collision. Okay, now I imagine, yes, they may find a way to figure something out and get
get you back and get something figured out for this. And if you're wondering what this uh, uh, what this light here is, that is I got a crack right across my camera screen. Or right across the glass at my camera. So, wait a minute. Yeah, it's the crack. I'm sorry about all that. Yep, if I take away the light, it's gone. So yeah, camera screens, or phone screens. But anyway, back to the main topic of this video. So because of the possibility, of, because of the uh, issue with the brakes for a hover car, it would be a massive safety hazard for roads so what else is there to do what else is there to even say about this are they impossible evidence is kind of going against them well um, physics is kind of going against hover cars here now <clears throat> There may be something else you can do here. And it's kind of difficult to even explain. Um, see, I've lost it because it's just not possible. Braking systems are would be pretty well impossible for hover cars. Now... You're not going to tell me that an unseen collision, because say there is a wreck on the roads already because of these hazards. Um, if you don't see that, that's going to that's going to result in a massive traffic pileup. So, since they would have to be lightweights already, like, say the roads get to be some kind of magnet. Oh, and magnets. People with pacemakers. Oh, and electronics. Because some electronics can interfere with medical supplies that will keep you alive. And a pacemaker is something to keep you alive. And if there's high levels of magnetic field, that's going to result in some bad health problems for people. Because, you got to look, if we're going for the magnetic, like the magnetism route, then, yeah, it's going to be pretty, it's going to be pretty bad here. But there is also the chance of something else to keep these things afloat. Obviously, I don't know what that is, but um, because we haven't gotten to that era yet. We may not even see that era. So, <clears throat> since hover cars, like, obviously, like I said, no wheels, no brakes. And if they are magnetic and it's like a south pole to a south pole, then yeah. Um, if it's not that, though, what's going to keep it in the air? I mean, obviously I imagine they're going to find some other way. Not necessarily like the... Um, Okay, admittedly, it's made for a movie. Um, the cars from iRobot. So, while these are clearly not hover cars, they kind of look like them. I mean, some could be. 
if it's what I think it is, then tell me, how are we going to stop these things? Because, obviously, in the movie, they got a lot of things rigged. And, yes, that's another thing. What you see in a movie, seriously, must be rigged. Because, like I said, it's not going to be possible to stop these things. Unless you're having an extra burst of power. Because, let's face it, hover cars are going to be electric. Um... An extra burst of power, like going forward, you got your jet in the back, pushing you forward at almost 80 miles an hour. Let's say there's that extra burst of wind, having to be just blasted out of the front just to get you stopped. That's going to blow you through power. See what I did there? That was a bad joke. I admit it. But yeah, that is going to burn your batteries up. Because let's face it, it's going to be battery driven. It's going to be battery run. Or even, yes, I guess it could be solar powered. But um, that would have to take some pretty strong solar panels. Like the massive ones you see on in solar fields. So, yeah, it's just not going to be possible. Now, like I said, a car company may find ways around what I'm putting out here. And maybe they'll become a thing. I prefer my 95 Impala, though. So, I'm, you're not going to find me driving one of those around. Unless it's, one, my drinking car, just sitting out here in the yard. Or my puffing car. Now, I have been told that I will have to come to terms with new stuff and my even my own family expected me to be way more into the new stuff. Like cell phones and... Uh, Xbox 360, well, that's actually not the new thing anymore, um, but, um, PlayStation 5 and all that garbage, I don't find that entertaining. I prefer my old Super Nintendo over that, but anyway, off of my personal note, back to hover cars, because that's the topic of this video. Um, yeah, and speaking of power, how are we going to keep these things charged? Because, obviously, solar panel, you're driving at night because you have to run a night shift, or you're a night shift police officer, or a sheriff's deputy, or a highway patrol officer, FBI agent, CIA agent, you got to get a mission done really fast, and... Or you have to go into a high-speed chase because there's some kind of drunk driver or moonshiner uh, just get absolutely getting away from you. You're going to run out of power really fast. Admittedly, that may get the moonshiner off the road, but you're off the road too because your car died as well. When are we going to have some kind of moon panels I don't know Sun, the moon doesn't have a good enough ray to really reflect anything from the sun so you're not going to get any good solar power from that oh and um I think I know what you're probably going to say well Cobra Meister they, have, they will have a backup battery no doubt and if that backup battery goes dead, you're screwed. Because you're in the middle of a chase with moonshiners or drunk drivers or speed racers having a street race. And 
you've already used up your main battery, you're, you've used up, you're starting to use up your backup battery, maybe these speed racers haven't used up all their power yet because they just got their brand new sporty hover cars out on the streets for a speed race and they get away because you you ran out of power so it's just not possible i get teslas are electric and all that but even they they're pretty well disastrous because long trips and tesla charging units must be expensive because tesla's a luxury based car they're gonna have luxury power source i get it a cadillac uh in a Buick Enclave, or how, whatever you, however you say that, and Rolls Royce Phantoms, and all these are luxury based cars, but they run on gas, not electricity. So, gas being a well, nowadays, because of the whole thing, because uh, Russia and Ukraine can't get along and act as one, like all countries should, personal opinion, right there. And all that because I I see us as all equals. But back to the cars. I get it. Because gas is already going up. But imagine how high Tesla energy is going up. Because yes, it's electricity. I get it. But still you got to pay to use those charging bases. So, yeah, I get there's ways that they could fix this, but let's face it, you're basically going to have to be rich in the future to even own a car, if that's the case. Thomas, what are you after? If you break my lamp, sir, you're going to have to fix it. Pardon me for one quick second. Thomas, you don't need to chase a mop, sir. You really don't. Leave it alone. The moth hasn't done anything to you. Leave it alone. Don't even look at it. Please. I'm trying to make a video, sir. You are shedding like crazy. Of course. The moths, which are outside, are more important than me making a video. I get it. I'm just going to ease the jump down so that you don't break it. Okay, so where were we before so rudely interrupted? Oh, yeah. Expenses. Because electric bills are going up. Um, alternative power sources are going up. So, what else is there? Oh, yeah. They're not possible. Because, one, the safety hazards. Because you have to be using either extra power to stop them or die because you get into a massive collision um youtube please do not strike me down for saying die i mean what do they call one piece of dice one like one half of dice a die so you're gonna knock that cat tree over sir Moths being drawn to my light source over here. So, yeah. I just don't see hover cars being possible because of all this. Like, safety hazard. Uh, being late for work because you run out of power. Um, 
or even late for school because I know some schools have parking for students, especially college, because um, it's cheaper that way, I guess. Um, but yeah, late for work, school, or college. Well, college is a school, so I shouldn't really have to count that. Um, they, the fact that they would have pretty well be expensive to own and drive because uh, if Tesla energy is already expensive, I can only imagine what a hover car energy would be. Well, there would be other, there would probably be brands, right? So, Tesla, Chevrolet, Dodge, Cadillac, Buick, Ford, um, probably Sangyong, Austin, Toyota, Nissan, Honda, there's just so many car brands that they could be. I'm not going to name them all. And yes, if in case you're a only an American citizen and you don't know what a Sengyong is, look up Sengyong Musso. I probably said that completely wrong, but basically the Sengyong Musso is a truck. They did have SUVs back in the 90s, but that's beside the point. So basically, all these car brands, uh, being hover cars, no doubt completely electric, and charging ports are a hassle to have to pay for, especially if you're not financially able. There's another problem, because... A lot of people are not financially able to do all this. Like, we see a lot of financially able people driving Teslas, and they're already expensive. So, now don't take all this information in completely, because I could be totally wrong on some of these. Um... Uh, <clears throat> but just take it with a grain of salt because hover cars may not end up existing and if they do God help us all because the financial stability for most people on this earth and all that So, now, I'm not trying to bash Tesla by any means. I have considered a Tesla, but I dropped it. Because Teslas, they're expensive. I consider them a recipe for disaster because so far I've only seen them with the floor as their battery. So, maybe they've improved their design. I just don't want one anymore. But... Other than all that, um, like I said, take what I'm saying here with a grain of salt, and just don't get your hopes up, because it's just, there's so many things leading to hover cars won't exist. So, no matter what you've seen in the sci-fi films like iRobot and all these other futuristic things with hover cars and all that, just don't get your hopes up because I can't see it happening. And even if it does, um, hopefully whatever car companies have decided to make hover cars Hopefully they see these videos about why it's not possible and work on them from there. Because what I've said 
about, especially the safety things, like, how are you going to stop them? Hopefully they see this and see that, because it, it just doesn't seem possible and to stop them, but maybe maybe they'll find an alternate alternative way aside from the blast of air from the front and all that so e either way that's pretty well all i have for this video and hopefully hopefully if we do end up seeing hover cars on the road hopefully they'll be safe Sorry about all that. It's late in the night and I am tired. So I'm going to end this video before I do get tired. So thank y'all for watching. Definitely subscribe to this vlog channel because this is only a vlog channel to my other channel, uh, which is vacuum related entirely. But maybe so, but you don't have to watch that channel. This is a vlog channel for. Arbuckle 1618, which is my other channel. It's the first channel I made. Well, not really the first channel I made, but definitely the most, uh, definitely the one with hopping views. Not like Markiplier or any of those, but I'm up to 847 subscribers last I looked. I could be lower, I could be higher, I don't know, but. That's all for this video. Thank y'all for watching. I hope y'all got some information out of this. And hopefully I didn't destroy any hopes for my younger audience who had high, who has high hopes for hover cars. Maybe they'll be safe. Maybe they won't. Maybe they'll be a success. Maybe they'll be a failure. We'll never know. So take what I said with a grain of salt and... Have a good night or good day whenever you're watching this video. Bye, y'all.